Hey there football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today we're diving into the Deco debate that has become a hot topic in Barcelona. It all started when Xavi, the former Barcelona midfielder and current coach, was caught off guard by a question about an interview with sporting director Deco. The interview, published in a Portuguese outlet, quoted Deco as saying that Barcelona needed a deep change and had to break with the past. Xavi seemed surprised by these comments, as they contradicted what Deco had been telling him. Barcelona's media department was unaware of the interview, which added to the shock factor, but let's not forget the exciting young players that have emerged during this difficult season for Barcelona. 16-year-old Lamine Yamal has been a wonder to behold, becoming the youngest player to score twice in a La Liga game. And there's Pau Cubasai, who stepped into the center of defense at just 17 years old. Fermin Lopez, at 20 years old, has also had some good moments in his first full senior season. And of course, we can't forget about Pedri and Gavi, who are fans buzzing with anticipation about their contributions to the club. Many supporters believe that Barcelona needs to trust in their La Mesa Youth Academy now more than ever. They want the club to double down on the possession-oriented style that has defined Barcelona's identity on the pitch. Deco's comments in the interview seemed to suggest a different vision for the club's future, which caused quite a stir among fans. Speaking of the future, Deco and Barcelona president Joan Laporta have already hinted at potential signings for next season. They mentioned Joao Cancelo and Joao Felix as possible targets. However, Fans are skeptical about whether these players can be long-term fixes for the club. Both Cancelo and Felix have been inconsistent, with Felix even losing his starting place before suffering an injury. Barcelona quickly reacted to the controversy caused by Deco's interview. They planned to have Deco speak in public to clarify his words, but later decided against it. The interview was amended and a clarification was issued stating that it was not Deco's intention to question Barcelona's model or imply a desire to steer away from it. The club and Deco managed to navigate through the controversy, but the idea of changing the club's model was the last thing Barcelona fans wanted to hear right now. That's all for today's update on the Deco debate. What are your thoughts on the situation? Do you think Barcelona should stick to their possession-oriented style and trust in their youth academy? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at Football News Center.